stopping the little feet all feet and throwing a tantrum, but you won't call me back. It's Gen Z Kelly. <laughs> you see how it's raining out here? It's because I'm sad. I'm sad because you won't call me back. And I've texted you like 800 times. And my friends say you are in... I can't say it on YouTube, but... It's so frustrating! Is he paying attention to you? Is he... Is he watching? He's not a... Legionnaires unite! American women are rejected. Gentlemen, it's getting out of control. It's getting so uncomfortable these days. It's, it's, it's just, I don't need, it's, it's bad. It's just bad, yeah. I better watch out, I'm gonna fall off this freaking cliff. <laughs> it's like, there's no railing. It's a big tumble down there. Yikes! Donkey punch the like button, finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, share this video. Share it. Become a Legionnaire level one. I cannot abbreviate any bad words, okay? YouTube doesn't like this. I understand. Okay, I got it, YouTube. I gotcha. Censoring yourself. <laughs> I get it. It's very important, though, gentlemen. So, my legionnaires, we have to understand American women are rejected. They're just... Oy. It's depressing because it's, it's just so... Si it's so simple. Yet it's so... They've made it so complicated. And here's, guys, I'm not telling you to feel bad for them. What I'm letting you know is it's just sad because they will never be able to fix this issue in a reasonable amount of time before their generation has been skipped. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why it's sad. And you guys have all the ups. Here's what's funny. But so many men don't understand. I don't care if you're short. I don't care if you're fat. I don't care if you're bald. I don't care if you're ugly. I don't care if you have the elephant man's face. It does not matter. These little normies are looking at me because I'm screaming. It does not matter because if you're on your purpose, that's all that matters. You can always settle down pretty much at any moment in time because your, look, your looks really don't matter when it comes. Okay, most guys want to settle down. Right? Most guys want to have a family. Most want, guys want to have children. Guys, I know it's raining like crazy. Bear with me. I mean, it is pouring. And there was an earthquake too. I was like, Wah! but at the end of the day, you've got the options. At the end of the day, you got go back to my men have more options than women videos. It's just facts. I don't you do not have to be high value. Okay, I don't want to go crazy. Just calm down. You don't have to be high value to be with a conservative woman who wants a family. It, this is not rocket science. You can be with a traditional form woman and you will be perfectly fine. I'll never forget, I'm in China, I'm walking around. You got these little Indian guys, four foot nothing, with pretty little Chinese women. Oh, there's a big drain. I was wondering what that noise was. No problem. They were in handsome dudes. They weren't tall. They weren't buff. You guys have to understand that your purpose is everything. I don't know if I should go towards the, the beach, guys. I probably get, might get swept up by a tsunami. <laughs> that would be freaking great. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to stay close to the stairs. You know what I mean? Because this wall is high enough that it might, might, you know, maybe a 10, 15, 20 foot tsunami. I'll be all right, but... I'm pretty fast, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep my eye on the uh, horizon. It, it, it's just funny because the West has you dialed in thinking that you need to take a bunch of crud from people who don't have your best interests at heart. And I'm sorry to my AWs, but you've been rejected and you cannot handle reject. Guys, I see TikTok after TikTok of girls who are rejected. Rejected by the first guy that they were with. Now they go crazy. Now they say, I'm emotional. I can't be the hookup girl. We know this. You're not built to be hookup girls. That's not your job. To all my AWs out there, I understand your pain. You're not built for that. 
You are not men. I know you keep trying to be, I'm one of the guys, I'm this and that. No, you're not. And that's okay. You don't have to be. I'm letting all the American girls out there know, you don't have to be one of the guys. You don't. Oh, but guys just want one thing. You do not. Okay, so what are you offering? I bring nothing to the table. Well, there you go. This isn't rocket science, ladies. <laughs> I feel like KS. I'm going to have to do a call in. <laughs> oh, man, that would be funny. I don't I don't, guys, I don't have the patience for that. I just don't. I, I, I can talk to TFWs, but yikes. Hear that, hear that ring? Jeez. But to my AWs out there, men just don't want American women anymore. They do not want to deal with you anymore. They, you know what's funny? You have to admit, guys have a hell of a lot of patience. I probably got a yellow dollar sign just for saying that H word. I got to, got to watch out of my profanity. <clears throat> what is that noise? What is that noise? To my AWs out there, you have to admit, guys have a hell of a lot of patience. There, I said it again. Jeez, I gotta watch out. Just, guys, yeah, you gotta abbreviate your stuff. But <laughs> you have to admit, guys have a lot of patience in the West. They put up with a heck of a lot of stuff and they just go with it. The average guy in the West puts up with so much. And yet they, a lot of them still would take you ladies back. You have to admit, guys have been very forgiving. Okay? No matter which way you slice it, men in the West have been very forgiving. But it's too late. They don't want EWs anymore. The passport offices are backlogged. Guys have said, I've had enough. It has gotten so bad that they don't even want, 63% of guys don't even want to date anymore. And this guy is running in like a, <laughs> this guy is a beast. He's running in the sand. This guy, just, just killing it. Where's he at? Is that him? He's just killing the game, man. That is inspiring, man. It, it fires me up because I'm about to blow away. Dude, guys, this win is insane. Ah, there is nobody on the beach today. Except crazy. And I'm soaked. A freaking light vest might short circuit. But to my AWs out there, you ladies have to admit. We've put up with a lot. If you watch all my old stuff, all the stuff that I talk about is the stuff guys have put up with. And they've taken it. And I'm not here to come down on the little AWs anymore because you ladies have learned plenty on this channel if you have stayed tuned in. The bottom line is, guys are over it. They're not interested anymore in AWs. The vast majority. No matter which way you slice it. I know it makes you feel better to go on TikTok and cry and then say, well, guys are going to simp no matter what. No, they're not. Those days are long gone. Your average Gen Z guy isn't even in. He would rather be on his purpose. My whole backside is soaked. I hope I don't get the... It's, it's hot enough for me to not get hyperthermia. So, Or what is it? Uh, I think it's hyperthermia. So it should be okay. Or what is it? Uh, pneumonia. Plus my face isn't getting all you know wet. So that's good. I can just go home and, uh, anyway, to my ladies, <sighs> you know, what's funny as I've done this content, as I've done more and more of this content, I've seen how the AWs, how you ladies have responded and how you ladies are so lost. It's not even funny. In the beginning, I was like, man, they really screwed the pooch. But as time went on, I was like, they're really in trouble. And by the way, I didn't see this coming so soon, right? I didn't see that guys would get their passports and just say, to heck, to heck with this. 
but it's gotten really, really, really bad. Because <sighs> I thought it would take longer. I thought guys would be more forgiving because they've been so forgiving. But guys have finally started to say, I've had enough. And I don't really have a dog in this fight because I've already checked out many, many, many years ago, which is being with AWs. So, yikes. The rejection is real. And to those ladies out there that are still in denial, you're going to have a rough go of it over the next 40 years. It's going to take about, guys, to be realistically, it's going to take about three generations to come full circle to get conservative women back. There is a guy running in the rain right now. This guy is an absolute beast. Holy cow. Guys, if you knew how hard the rig was coming down over here, you'd be like, hell no, get the heck out of here. This guy is a man. Jeez Louise. You give me a thumbs up. <laughs> He's a juggernaut. Yeah, the rejection is real. And I know you ladies are in pain. I know you cry yourselves to sleep at, sleep at, life, uh, sleep at night. I, you know I've made fun of it. But it is really sad. It is really, really sad. And I do not wish this on anybody. I really don't wish your pain on anybody. Especially not you. You want to know why? Because your pain will last longer than all these guys out here. And all it does is make all our lives more complicated. That's what I'm getting at. But yeah, guys, they've just said I've had enough. And to all my AWs out there, <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know what to do, you can hit me up and I'll do my best. But uh, yikes, a lot of you are too far gone. And most guys are just going to say, no thanks. Because what a lot of you ladies don't understand is you say, oh yeah, guys will be with anybody. Not in relationships, they won't. They may be sexual, but they're not going to just be in a relationship with anybody. And you ladies are starting to realize that. Ah, yeah, it's rough. Jesus, it is so windy. I'm completely so... <laughs> Except my head. <laughs> my sunglasses are perfect. This sun hat is a... <laughs> look at it, it's starting to sag from all the rain. <laughs> Woo! I love it. Yeah, to all my legionnaires. Yeesh. All I can do is cringe, man. And it keeps getting more... You want to know what's really sad is you've got lady dating coaches now who actually are, became dating coaches because they had so many failed relationships. What, what, what is that all about? The resurgence of the female dating coach. Anyway, the bottom line... <laughs> guys, you don't see any of this stuff overseas. It's just funny. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, guy. Yeah. So, anyway, what are we going to do about it? We're just going to keep having fun. We're going to stay on our purpose. We're going to keep having a good time. We're going to keep going overseas. Once the vlogs start coming from overseas, guys, I think you're going to like it. I'll have a little Latina. I'll have a little Latina. She will be bouncing around. And she will give, she will put, she'll present the empanadas in the video. And she will say, to all your subscribers, here's some, here's some empanadas. And you guys are going to be like, dang. Empanadas. I need to get over to... Colombia. I need to get over to Peru. I need to get over to Mexico. And that will be that. Sorry, AWs. But here's the good news to all my AWs out there. If you really want to be a conservative woman and have a relationship that lasts forever, you're going to have to go to a conservative country just like us. That is the solution, whether you like it or not. Go back to all my TradCon videos. Go back to all my Going Foreign series, and you will learn how to do it, period, end of story. Donkey punch the like button, finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section, share this video before I, oh, it's so cold. Now I'm getting the cold. 
<laughs> it's freezing out. Look, guys, there's nobody on the beach today. It is a Sunday. There is nobody. Nobody. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> my, my umbrella's flying away. <laughs> oh, we're having fun. Anyway. Ah. <sighs> Seriously, though. To my little lady, I know you feel rejected. I know you're upset. I know. But that's why guys like me are here. We rough you up a little, but then we say, it's okay. Here's the solution. Because that's the only way you're going to listen anyway. Okay? Ah. Men have moved on. Now you need to take your lumps. You need to take your lumps. And that's going to take a few generations. So get out your cookbooks. Get out your cleaning supplies. Get ready to be, to go back to conservative values. It's going to take a few generations, but you'll get there. <laughs> Until next time, gentlemen, I'm definitely watching you, so let's get to it. <laughs>